Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video for the Electric Unicycle Cycle and Gadget Review channel of mine in YouTube. And today I'm going to review a iPhone 6 battery case from Zero Lemon. As you can see from behind me, I'm actually unboxing right now from the aluminium packaging, which have some instructions. Uh, if you cannot see, it's just uh, saying that it have 180 days, 100% zero lemon promises. And of course, uh, there's some instruction on battery maintenance. Uh, you have to charge 12 hours prior to initial use. And uh, for optimum performance, please uh, uh, do 5 to 6 full recharge and discharge cycles for all new battery so basically this is a lithium ion battery i believe so you have to recharge the battery once every month even if you never use it um you know uh, use the official phone charger or the zero lemon authorized charger to recharge uh, but unfortunately when i see there is only a couple cables uh, one is the micro usb to usb cable and one is the iphone jack uh, extender cable and the instruction manual Doo -doo. And of course, there is a free screen protector right over here and a microfiber tie of cloth for you to clean your uh, iPhone 6 screen before you stick on. Right, so basically there's no charger other than the USB cable, which is uh, doesn't matter because the USB cable is a very common micro USB to USB cable which you can actually find from any um, shop in the world <laughs> um, okay so as you can see from behind I'm trying to plug in the uh, iPhone cable which it doesn't work because it is a micro USB uh, universal cable it is not the iPhone cable that you can attach so it's very very um, I would say convenient micro USB which is a very standard kind of cable and as you can see there's some LED indicator to show how much um, battery is available and if you want to charge your iPhone with the iPhone casing simply press and hold this button and once you see the LED lights the iPhone casing will be charging your iPhone however the downside is when you find a micro USB cable and then you plug it in what you find is instead of uh, the iPhone is being charged by the casing, it is charging the casing but not the iPhone. So it does not go right through. You need to charge the iPhone and the casing separately. That means taking out the iPhone and you charge them using the Apple cable and a micro USB cable for the casing separately which create a little bit of annoyances the downside is it does not synchronize the data for example you want to synchronize the video you've taken into iMovie into Final Cut on your desktop uh, what happens is this micro USB even though it's connected to the desktop it does not sync the data in the iPhone so no iTunes syncing uh, but that is not a problem you can use Wi-Fi sync okay let's talk about the benefits of this iPhone 6 casing as you can see from here I'm actually rotating the iPhone on the belt clip the belt clip that you can actually clip onto your belt um, but make sure your belt is tightened uh, so that you will not look a bit uh, saggy because it's a relatively heavy uh, casing uh, from here you can see that there's a little bit holes on the um, left side you can actually hear the sound coming towards you instead of going to the side as you can hear from this iPhone so that uh, the sound is actually pretty loud uh, but it's still muffled compared to the original sound directly from the iPhone itself so if you're outside in a coffee shop sometimes uh, it's much better to actually wear a earphone but that comes the downside as you can see from here the earphone jack over here it, it does have a extension area where you can actually push out this little uh, plastic uh, but for the death of me I cannot figure out how to use this particular thing uh, called um, the ear plug extension or some sort 3.5 mm uh, earphone extension it is very very weird to use uh, I'm not quite sure how to use it but if you do not put this into the plastic for example you can simply just ignore this plastic and put this jack into the iPhone directly simply by pressing it down and you can actually uh, plug your earphone from here 
The downside here is this particular cable extension is very easy to lose. The same thing goes to this little blaster here where it covers the holes of this uh, earphone jack where the dust will accumulate if you don't have this little blaster here. So um, it's not really a serious issue because I actually use a Bluetooth earphone instead of a wired earphone. Um, but for majority of the iPhone users, they may not have that option. They, they, they just use the wired version of the earphone. So it does uh, give you a disadvantage in case uh, of losing this extension wire for your earphone. So do take note of that. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to dismantle this iPhone 6 battery case from Zero Lemon. So first thing first, you just dismantle the belt clip from this area. If you can see it. And the belt clip is out. The good thing about this belt clip is you can flip the iPhone casing uh, the in, you know, inverse and you show the back of the casing instead of the front where you can actually protect the iPhone screen. Okay, so taking out this uh, belt clip aside, you notice that there is uh, this silent, it, silent switch area where you can actually push it down. And you notice that this uh, silencer over here, this is a rubbery uh, layer where you can actually push down one area over here. Um, if you can see, you notice this is the rubbery area where you can actually push it down and push in such a way. Push, 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 and it's out. This is the rubber casing first layer. Uh, you notice this is the battery itself. So when you are charging, there will be a slight warm uh, part over this battery. You can just uh, take out this battery if you want to, but I, I, I just leave it inside. This is a 4600 mAh a lithium-ion battery with a 3.8 volts. Yep. And the next thing is to take out this uh, iPhone extension plastic thing. Just push it out and do not lose this. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is to take out the plastic casing outside uh, the, the second layer. Um, first thing first is there is this little knob here. You can actually press it down and you'll notice there is a little bit gap here. You can use your finger to press and uh, make sure it's separated. And there's another notch here that you can actually push it down. Oops. Okay, and there's an, another notch somewhere around here, but uh, open up this area and push down another area let me see over here and another notch over here another notch over here and another notch over here okay so try to unhook all the notch and you'll be able to take out the second layer and now the part is to uh, take out the iPhone simply just push it up and you should be able to take out the iPhone 6. And this is your primary, the casing itself. You're going to fix it back. Simply uh, put your iPhone back in if you want to. And uh, slide it in. Alright. Put the, the casing in the correct orientation. Uh, which is this the orientation. And just uh, snap it in. Push back the iPhone uh, earphone extender in such a way okay and the rubber thing uh, the rubber layer with the external layer make sure you are in the correct orientation over the back and just push it in and make sure everything is correctly done up and the belt clip if you want if you do not want a belt clip just leave it aside but sometimes you might need it so put it in and slide into the belt clip and snap and there you have it the dismantling and assembling of this iPhone 6 casing which takes very very short time if you know what you are doing <laughs> well basically that's it for this uh, review of the iPhone 6 battery casing from Zero Lemon if you are interested in this iPhone 6 battery case go to zerolemon.com or in the link in the description below to check it out uh, you can actually buy from Amazon as well uh, the links will be in the description as well uh, well basically that's it thank you very much for watching Simon's video have a nice day see ya bye